Great to stay. Thank you. I'm John, John Stern. I'm with uh, Occupy Ashland with the 99%, with the 100%. Uh, we're all together, we're all here, we're all one, so uh, I'm glad to see you all here. Thanks for coming out on this cold day. So I'll, I'll be saying a few words. Dave Lefkowitz from Amnesty International will be talking, and then Carol Rosin. And uh, then we'll be reading the Declar Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So I'm going to start out with a few minutes here, uh, just to put it in perspective. Today is December 10th, 2011. It's the 344th day of the year. Let's face it, it's cold and it's winter. The nights are long. And we still have another 12 days of this getting longer. Long, long nights, cold days. Friends and neighbors, it is dark physically. And in terms of human rights, it is also very dark. From the recent laws passed by Congress to the fascist crackdown on Occupy protesters and furthermore to the number of political prisoners, etc., etc., going on, tortures, war, there's many reasons to mourn our human rights. And yet, still, it's a perfect time to celebrate our human rights. Why? Well, there's many reasons, and I can go on and on about those reasons. The Occupy Wall Street movement, the fact that people are waking up. But the fact is, reasons come and reasons go. They're not permanent. They're not real. No, the real thing, the real thing to celebrate is something that goes beyond reasons to celebrate. It's that something that rises again and again. It is that human spirit. It's that same spirit which throws off ty tyranny, slavery, and justice. It's the spirit which motivates us to write poetry and realize great truths, to create great works of art, and to invent new technologies empowering ourselves and our neighbors to live lives of even greater beauty and dignity. It is that human spirit that has always risen, and it always will, and it is rising even now. So it is the perfect time to celebrate, because it's there, it's eternal, it's within us. And being in the depth of winter, I will also quote Albert Camus from Lyrical Essays. In the depth of winter, I found within me an invincible summer. A Course in Miracles opens with the words, nothing real can be threatened. And what is real? It is that human spirit and dignity and truth. It's a great time to celebrate now, right here in the dark, recognizing what is real in this winter. And yet we must be cautious. It's one thing to realize this truth. It's one thing to own it. It's one thing to be it. However, it's another thing to make it happen and bring it out in the world. We can have declarations of independence, we can have declarations of human rights, but declarations are nothing if they're not followed by strong action and ongoing vigilance. As a matter of fact, Thomas Jefferson wrote, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. So here now, we. 63 years ago, they came up with this Declaration of Human Rights. We declared it, and then let's face it, we fell asleep. But I like what that one Occupy sign says. Dear 1%, we were asleep for a while, we just awoke. <laughs> Let us get up and we'll be talking to you soon. Just give us a minute here. Hallelujah. <laughs> So now we are gathered together. We have that human spirit. And we have that power within us that comes when two or more assemble. And now look at ourselves. Worldwide, there are thousands of gatherings. Hundreds and thousands of people gathering together. It's been the Arab Spring and now the American Autumn. And with all these people gathering together, that same power of two will multiply exponentially. And it's up to us to keep on with our vigilance, both within ourselves and outside of ourselves. For that same vigilance 
is needed in our personal lives, tyranny can take over our very thoughts if we let it through addictions or, or whatever. Tyranny can also take over on, in our outer lives. We have to be vigilant for both. We have to be strong, aware, and alert, and we can do it. It's within us, it's happened before, and our rights can be secured and we can make it happen permanently, forever. Amen. Uh, <laughs>